A new era in interactive applications such as toys and educational programs has dawned at Stellenbosch University. Even the most sophisticated robotic toys are essentially static in their relational behavior. Whether they can talk, move or react physically, they will do so regardless of the identity of the specific person interacting with them. But imagine an innovation that will allow even a simple toy to become emotionally lifelike, to bond with its user and react increasingly fondly towards that user over time, while at the same time reacting less fondly towards any other users, therefore remaining unbonded. Furthermore, imagine that when neglected over time, such a toy would start forgetting its primary user and will grow fonder of a new user positively interacting with it on a regular basis. One day was there a prachtig meisie genaamd Matta, wat in a klein dorpie on the foot van a bird. There is a test you can do. Hello, give me a pop. Hello, kitty, you pay a Should its primary user abuse it by screaming or shaking it, it will become instantly upset and will then need an extended period of bonding to exhibit its usual fond behavior again. Imagine how popular such a toy would be among children of all ages. Consider how many parents will buy a toy that will teach their child about relationship building behavior and the values associated with maintaining a relationship with others. It can even be used as a therapeutic tool, and it doesn't stop there. Explore the possibilities for computer games and educational programs as extensions of such a new toy. Conceived by Prof. Johanna Pri and Dr. Ludwig Swan, experts in speech processing and machine learning at the Department of Electronic Engineering at Stellenbosch University, this capability employs some of the innovative adaptive learning techniques they have come up with over time. We, we are doing speaker recognition, so what, we, what that involves is we record audio with the doll um, and then process it in order to extract features that are relevant to speaker in the identification. Um, and then we also have an adaptive algorithm that tries to figure out if the person that is speaking to the doll now is the same as the, the person who he knows. If, if you go up there and you look at, at toys, you'll find that the behavior is static. What, what they do today, if you interact with them, or what they do tomorrow or next week, is basically the same. This specific toy gets to know you as a person who plays with it. And in, in the process of getting to know you, it bonds with you and it becomes more responsive towards you. This groundbreaking technology is now available for development by an investor or industry leader who shares our vision for a new breed of interactive applications.